Here to discuss the controversy behind the ongoing case between Apple and the FBI is Talk Points correspondent Zina Saifi. Zina, thank you for joining us. So what exactly is this case? What is the issue between Apple and the FBI? So basically, the FBI is asking, the a federal judge, really, they're ordering Apple to help the FBI gain access to the phone of the shooter of the San Bernardino incident that happened in, in December that killed 14 people. Um, and basically, Apple is saying that this is a case of s uh, safety versus surveillance, whereas uh, the FBI is saying it's privacy versus security. So Apple doesn't want to release the, uh, doesn't want to allow the FBI access into this phone because they're afraid it's going to create a backdoor where other people are going to be able to access any iPhone they want. What, what's exactly behind Apple's resistance to this? What's their argument here? So th there's a bunch of reasons. The first is they're thinking internationally. They're thinking if the FBI is asking them for this, then what's going to stop, for example, China from asking Apple to do the same thing or Russia, and it's going to be much harder for them to fight a case against another country. Another thing they're thinking internally, for their business model, for their reputation, they don't want their, the, their buyers to think that they're sacrificing consumer privacy and security for something that might not actually get any good results in the end. And then they're, they're asking a question of where, where are you, where's the limit? Where do you draw, draw the line? What if at some point the FBI, FBI asks, for example, uh, text messaging makers to uh, change their encryption scheme so that they can access any text messages that they want to. They just think that there should be a limit to this. And, and the last thing is now we've been seeing a lot of politicians talking about it. Like, for example, Trump said that who does Apple think they are? So the CEO, Tom Cook, responded saying that this shouldn't be the reason, this shouldn't be the way that uh, politicians solve terrorist acts. They should be able to solve it from the beginning instead of having a company sacrifice its own reputation for, for something like this. Zena, thank you so much. Thank you.